Hello everybody and welcome back to Provis Gaming and more EU4, The Rights of Man, playing as Ethiopia, possibly gonna soon become French Ethiopia, if we're not careful. Uh, I have no heir, and I'm an old man, and I'm honestly not sure I'm gonna be able to put out any more children right about now. So, uh, yeah, the lack of an heir is a bit concerning, and it says if I die, France and Russia will have a war to decide who gets me. Which I'm not looking forward to. Uh, at all. So, what to do is the real question. I mean, at the end of the day, is becoming a personal union under, let's say, France a huge deal? No, actually not. Uh, being under a personal union is terrible for my own sake, but I would be able to then immediately declare an independence war, probably. Uh, I assume my, my um, uh, liberty desire would be pretty high. So I could pretty much almost immediately declare an independence war and fight them, and I could I could probably win that fight. So I wouldn't be a junior personal union member for very long. Probably. Um, so I don't know. I mean, I I guess I guess what I could try to do is like break off royal marriages and stuff. But this would obviously cause some pretty serious problems. I'd lose the stability out of it, in fact. And a lot of opinion would be lost and stuff. I don't know. I don't know if that's a good idea? Bad idea? I don't know. A vassal of Kara still, really? Okay. Let's go ahead and turn off our forts. I'm not sure why some of them... Oh, these are the ones I just took, of course, right. Uh, this is Highlands. Woods. And there's a fort here, right? No. Well, I had another fort somewhere, didn't I? Huh. I'm not sure where it all went. Anyway. Yeah, so I'm not really sure what I'm going to do about it. Um, if anything, I might I might just kind of let it happen, because it could make for an interesting plot twist in this series. Alright, we're going to put these guys down pretty quick. That's no problem at all. Unrest is still pretty bad there. Hills, Savannah, we can handle the Savannah. Alright, good. Not so bad. I don't know. Maybe we'll get lucky and we'll get an heir. Or we'll get an event that will give us an heir. I don't know. How much longer can this guy live? That's the real question. I wish there was a way to see how fertile he is. Being 67 years old, I would think that maybe he's kind of past that. Although in CK2, that never stops you. Declining power of the nobility. They lose influence. All right. The Ottomans have claimed roads. Don't care. Southeast Pacific is explored. Uh, Northwest Pacific? Sure. That seems okay. Alright, so we finished exploring a lot of stuff here. I still haven't seen all these islands, though. What region are you in? Southwest Pacific. Okay. Northwest Pacific. Wow, it really does just have a straight line down the middle? That seems kind of silly. Oceana. Colonizing New Zealand could be kind of fun, too. Not gonna lie. Hmm. Australia has money that flows up into Indonesia. Nope, that flies into... What is this? I can't read it. The something. The Moluccas. And then into Malacca. And then I could get it to flow all the way here. But then it flows south. No. I need the money to flow up to the north. Bengal. Then to me. Unless, if the money flows south, to Ivory Coast... No, I can't direct the money up toward Katsina. So yeah, starting around here, we... Well, wait. Yeah, no, starting around here, we do not want money going south. We want to stop it. It actually might be worth trying to collect trade here at some point. Possibly. Uh, I'm not too sure yet. Well, yeah, either way. Alright, we lost a claim on a province. That one. The little island that I don't care about. That other people seem to care about for some reason. Another conversion done. Excellent. Uh, highlands and woods. You know, let's get an army over here. It is almost certainly going to fire here, where the development is going to be the highest. Are these different? Ottoman? Ottomans. So these are all Ottomans. There is a way to kind of predict where the um, rebels are going to fire. 
Kind of, sort of. If you look at the Ottoman Separatists down here, though, does it tell us? It actually says they would get a larger armory off of Biga. Oh, that's because that's a higher development. But that's grassland, so if they do fire there, I'm not too worried about it. Let's go ahead and switch these guys around a little bit. Do you already have a trade post? So you have a marketplace, which is something. They're not cored yet, so there's not much I can do about them, but still. A new settlement. Uh, base tax? Yeah, I don't need prestige. Base tax is awesome. We're getting kind of close to our cap. We can have up to 1307. We are still six years away from being, able, um, being on time with tech. Although, the next level of fort is certainly very powerful. But I don't want to pay that much of an ahead-of-time penalty. So, odds are pretty good I'm going to want to use my military power to do some development. Some Ethiopian Particularists fired. Which is interesting. This one army should be able to handle that, no problem. Uh, let's go ahead and grab ourselves another merchant. Done. Okay, the question now becomes, what is the best way to get more money? Could collect in Alexandria to get a little bit more. There's a fair amount leaving, so... That's a thing. Alternatively, if I were to go to Katsina, there's a lot of money that's not going in my direction, and I would get some caravan power. So, let's see what would happen then. If I took a new merchant and transferred trade power, here. He would arrive in 23 days. So the end of January, right now we have 22.1. It's not going to take effect until the end of February, probably. Still. It's actually up to 25.46. Oh no, that actually definitely did something. It did take place just in time. Alright, uh, so another two and a half ducats flowing this direction. More caravan power gives us a little bit more control in Alexandria. And we get three to four more ducats per month as a result. Alright, good, good, good. I like it. Uh, should we get some more development? Probably. We actually should build more manufactories. That's really what we want to do. Uh, we have a manufactory here, right? No, we have it in Sinai. Yeah. Let's get some um, military development there. Just so it grows, kind of spreads this institution a little bit faster. We'll get some more in Suez. Um, and... Let's say... Well, I don't know. More in Suez, I guess. The reason I care about that is so it spreads this direction toward... Alexandria, and so on a little bit faster. It's probably okay, right? Okay. How much are our manufactories right now? 496 ducats. Need more of those. Uh, come 1650 is when manufactories can start, and the more of those I have, the better. Whoop, Oman is calling us into a war against... Freaking Oman, they keep calling these holy wars, and then they take nothing out of the war. They just keep attacking people for reasons. Oh, good grief. All right. We'll fight Persia, apparently. <sighs> Whatever, man. I'm going to turn my forts back off. I don't care. Okay, Tlemcen has raided us. That's rude, but not surprising. Uh, Malta. Oh, Tagur. Sheans are really close to firing now. Did I make this into a state? No. You know what? Raise the autonomy. There. Problem solved. Don't feel like dealing with it. It's just one tiny province. It's only got four developments. Why bother fighting it? Okay, and Malta. You're a bit of a problem, aren't you? Maltese. There you are. 60%. These guys are going to be a problem. But we're in a position to deal with them already. So I'm not worried about it. We should probably be fighting people like Katsina pretty soon. Finally finish them off. They are allied to Timbuktu. Timbuktu, who has grown a little bit. I think they conquered some people down here. Uh, can't really fight Morocco right about now. Yeah, I think that the next target to kill will be part of Africa, Central Africa. Hmm... I can hear Yali coming back from her shopping trip. You might be hearing some noises shortly. But yeah, with the Ottomans dead, that's a pretty good sign. We're doing okay. Disagreeing advisor. Lose prestige, get power. Or off with his head. Army reformer, you say? 
Morale of armies. I don't really need to get rid of him. No, nah, we'll just lose the prestige. It'll come right back. We're gaining 1.39 per year. Who cares? I'm feeling a little bit concerned about this whole personal union thing just sort of hanging over my head right now. I may have very little choice but to fight a war against either France or Russia on behalf of whoever succeeded, then immediately turn around and kill them again. <laughs> so very soon, basically, I'm going to get into a war where I have to fight both Russia and France at some point within like a 10-year period. That's scary. I mean, it's a lot, you know? That's a lot to fight. Hey, Persia. Hey, where do you think you're going? Where do you think you're going with your little one man? No, no, no. Where are you going? No, wait, seriously, though. Where are you going? You're going down... Okay. I don't know what you're doing, but I'm not worried about you. Oman can deal with this war themselves. Kara is another person I could kill. Or Hijaz. I mean, there's a lot of people to fight, basically. Oh, no! Our king died! Wait. I didn't... I didn't get under a personal union? No, I did not. Okay. So, a new person... Iyasu de Veloy is now in charge of 523, a really good administrator. And our nation is mourning over the loss of the previous monarch. Well, that's interesting. I died, but I have not fallen onto a personal union. Huh. Okay. I mean, I feel like we, were, we, 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 we turned out of that pretty well. I mean, it's a weak claim. Our legitimacy is going to take a little while to go back up. I don't suppose there's anything we could do to try and, like, improve that. I guess, actually, no. There's something I totally could do. I could spend military power to strengthen the government. And gain legitimacy. Hmm. That's actually not a bad idea. Let's try it. Spend twice. Okay, we're now no longer in the red. Legitimacy has improved. So national unrest uh, plus 0.4. No, this is this is gonna be okay. Um, we could get our royal marriages back with some people. We already have one with France still. We need a new one with Spain, so let's do that. It reduces our legitimacy by two, but it goes up by 0.2 per year. So we'll do that. Okay, we have a new Etej, Maria Teresa. Really, Maria Teresa? You mean like the uh, the famed uh, queen of Austria at one point? All right, a three two zero. Our relations have improved, and we no longer have a marriage with Tuscany, but that's fine. That actually frees up a relationship slot for me. I mean, all in all, I think that was about as good as you could possibly ask for things to be. Should pull off of Georgia. We don't need that. Uh, we can improve relations with Spain a bit, because they're not super happy. And my king is now righteous, which makes my legitimacy go up by another one per year. Which is actually really freaking solid right now, because that's something we needed. This is perfect! This is the best situation we could possibly have asked for. I am pleased. We do also want to get another stability, though. Do I want to spend the power? It's 200 power. That's a whole chunk of territory. No, we're not going to get another stability. We're going to let it stay at just two for now. Oh, good grief. Persia! Get out of here! I siege down Yerevan because I wasn't paying attention. I don't care about their stupid wars. Oman, I hate you. I hate you, Oman. I hate you so much. All right, let's explore the Northeast Pacific. Go siege it back. <sighs> Oman, you suck. And I hate everything you stand for. Convert, 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 convert. Danielle, how was your shopping trip? How was your shopping trip? Very long and very crowded. It doesn't surprise me because it is going into Christmas week. It took me like 20 minutes just to get out of the parking lot. Wow. If you didn't hear that, that's 20 minutes to get out of the parking lot. Ah, Walmart. Thou dost sucketh so much. Really doesn't surprise me, though. That actually is a perfect opportunity for me to tell you guys that I do plan on uh, taking Friday off. There will not be a video of EU4 on Friday because we are going into... Um, Christmas time, and I want to I wanna take a little time off. A little bit of a break for me. Land Force Limit Modifier. It's not very good, but we don't need the power, and it actually increases my manpower recovery per month, so meh. What's this? Ooh, our wife is actually industrious. Goods produce modifier plus 10%. Sweet. Okay. 
And more conversions done. Importing food to com combat famine. The recent food shortages in parts of our nation has caused many p among the Ethiopian to question the Ethiopian people. No, just, yeah, okay. Uh, mercantilism. You know what? Screw it. I don't care about national unrest. Y'all suck. You can starve for all I care. Our colony has been struck by Roman fever. No. Oh. Pray for the best. If we lose a little bit of men, we lose a little bit of men. I actually am losing a lot of men from attrition right now. I don't have to be doing this. And yet I am. Can you please kill Persia? Who else is here? A war? Oh, good grief. This war is bigger than I thought it was. And now they're marked. God dang it. Persia. Turn on the forts. All these forts have to be turned on now. All right, wherever you're going, I'm going to chase you down with my much larger army and punish you. I've now got a garrison. You're not allowed to instantly siege down my forts now. So, joke's on you. <sighs> Alright. I mean, this is the downside of turning off your forts, because you get cocky. Was it not Han Solo who said, Don't get cocky, kid. Seeing a rich Rogue One just recently come out, came out. I haven't seen it yet, but I really would like to. New World Charter is expired. It expired? Really? It only lasts for a few years. I thought it lasted the full 20 years, but apparently not. Hmm. Hey, look! Your army's coming out. Well, then, I'm going to murder you. Die, Persia, die! Where do you think you're going? You get over here. Stack white! Wait a minute. Where do you think you're going? Your two cavalry. Die! Stack white. There, see? There, Oman, I helped. I did my job. What did you get? Oh, compressed air. Thank you. I can finally clean out my, uh, computer. Thank you, Anyali. Love you. My fan was, uh, in my, in my graphics card was making this nasty sound, kind of this weird little whiny, squeezy, squeezy, squeezy sort of sound. I didn't appreciate it. But I ran out of compressed air. Okay, I really don't like that Malta is still a problem. I'm kind of tempted to raise autonomy here. Uh, we don't have enough money to build any manufactories, dang it. Can I peace out with Persia? I've killed enough of your stuff. Will you give me money if I just leave? No, they don't even want me to leave. Why not? This is Ethiopia. You should be begging me to get out of this war. Dummy. Alright. I don't think we need our explorer anymore. A lot more conversions done. Go back up here. Let's turn off the fort in Sinai. And Tabuk. Uh, this is fine. We'll leave this one just because it's a little bit far away and I won't be able to respond quickly. But the others I'm not too worried about. Incor is about to go away. Converted some more people. Excellent. Um, we'll call our diplomat with Spain. So let's take a look at our states real quick. Is that actually our political map mode? Geographic. Okay, so the Turkish culture is fully embraced here, so these are a lot of things that we could embrace that's really good as a state, like here, for example. This would cost me a fair bit of power, but it's a pretty darn good state. 1.21... Oh, sorry, 121 power to make it into a state, but it's really solid. And the autonomy will tick down. It's an accepted culture, so we won't have any penalties. That's a lot of extra money and stuff, and institutions will spread faster here when the time comes. So I feel like that's probably okay. All right. Timer's going off, which means we need to be ending this video pretty soon, but let's just kind of play along with this for a little bit longer. Um, Oman, I am so prepared to just end this alliance because I hate you so much right now. You don't even know. You don't even know how much I hate you. Surprisingly, the Ottoman Separatists are not ticking up as fast as I expected them to. Did they switch what type of Separatists were going to spawn here? They might have, actually. Aiden now. Aiden there and Ottoman. Germaniad. Yeah, they're not all Ottoman anymore. Which is fine. Estates demand control of some territory. Okay. Um, I don't care about Karga. Clergy may has. And I don't care about Al-Wahat. Nobility may has. 
It's not enough. It doesn't surprise me. I did take a lot of development by making that into a state. Okay. Um, this one. Oh, it's already given away. Okay. Um, this one. Clergy. And... Uh, nobility may have this one. There we go. That satisfies them. Just like six more development for them. That was it. Pretty easy. Hey, Spain. Still fighting people, are you? Good for you, man. Be a warmonger. It's good. It's good to let your muscles flex a little bit sometimes, yeah? I'm kind of tired of how many freaking rebels we have right now. Because I want to go and fight in Central Africa, but I'm not able to right now. Because, well... Freaking ton of rebels. Oh, look. All these rebels are now back. <sighs> Frustrating. Okay. Um... Um, I'm not sure what else to do, to be honest. Colonies are gradually spreading. France has paid all foreign debt of Genoa. Wow. That was generous. It was only 48 ducats, but still, I don't know why you would do that. In search of the soul. A few religious conversions here, some impressive arguments about morality of man there, and one of our most learned noblemen has decided to take up a monastic life. I shall follow in the footsteps of Saint Chanute, the Archimandrite. One day I might even found a monastery of my own. Okay. So, we could let him become a missionary and have missionary strength. We could let him become a cheap advisor, an inquisitor. That's good for missionary strength. So basically, better missionary strength for cheap and diplo power. Or is it admin power? I think it's admin. Or, let him do his thing. Um... I mean, I don't need the missionary strength. It's just a cheaper way of getting money and monarch points. Alternatively, for 10 years, better missionary strength. Eh. Alright, let him just go be a missionary. I don't care. We're fine. We're fine. Who cares? It doesn't even matter, man. I don't even care. Austria has accepted peace with Genoa. Austria has definitely weakened a lot now that the Netherlands has taken over so much territory. If the Greeks ever do fire as an actual separatist group, it'd be kind of see nice to see uh, Greece become a thing, you know? Do you have a personal union over Brandenburg as a vassal? Really? Look at that. They don't have a personal union over uh, Hungary, though. They are allied to the Commonwealth, who has just blobbed like crazy. Commonwealth scares me a lot. Commonwealth and Russia, both. Two nations I would really much prefer not fighting. But I have to end this video. I've run a little long, so thank you all for watching. I do hope you enjoyed. Be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.